Human has been neutralized. We've got another one here, another NES system with the blinking lights. Uh, this one I've cleaned it uh, using some contact cleaner, I've cleaned the game. I can get it to where it actually won't even flash, it'll just turn gray, a solid gray screen. And I actually got it to play one time, I've got it to come up with some corrupted graphics and things like that. The insertion on this one's even even weaker than the last NES that I did a video for. And so I think the 72 pin connector in this one is really just worn out. So I'm going to do another experiment. On the last one I was able to boil the 72 pin connector and do several trials and it seems like it worked really well. So, you know, that's only one NES. I've heard some people say that they boiled it and it didn't help. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again on this one. I'm going to go ahead and boil the 72 pin connector. 10 to 15 minutes. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to try to bend the pins or anything like that. Slap it back in and see if it works. But this is pretty much what I've been getting. Either the flashing, the solid gray. Um, so, oh, there's a solid gray. So, I'm um, going to take this apart and boil it and put it back together and see what happens. Okay, so I've got it uh, back together enough to test it out and see what happens. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> so, there you have it folks. Boiled the uh, 72 pin connector. This is the second. Uh, Ness, I've tried it on. This one was even worse than the last one, and um, hey, it really works. Okay, well, after declaring victory on this uh, NES system where I've boiled the connector uh, and I got it to work, uh, I tried a few more games, and actually it's not working as good as I really hoped it would. So this uh, continuation of this video, um, shot several days later, actually probably a couple weeks later, is going to be what, what do you do when you've boiled the connector and it still isn't working quite right. So I'm gonna try a couple different things, do a couple different tests, and see if I can't get this uh, NES system working a whole lot better. Okay, so I've got um, you know, it's about four different games I've uh, sort of chosen kind of randomly, but these, these ones seem to be um, a little bit worse than some of the other ones. Not necessarily, but I've got Ice Hockey, Galaga, Athletic World, and Wheel of Fortune. And I'm going to focus in on these. I'm going to try cleaning the games and seeing how much of a difference that makes. I, I feel like I've cleaned these m maybe. I can't remember, but... Um, we'll try a couple different ways of cleaning them to see if that is something that's going to make it act a lot better before I start tackling uh, the 72 pin connector again. So let's take a look at ice hockey. So, Wheel of Fortune seems like it's working pretty good. Athletic World still gray screen every time reset works again. Galaga is having uh, the numbers turn into you know symbols or something like that every other time and ice hockey is is like 90 percent or something so uh, now so i've got these games kind of my test subjects and and we've cleaned them we know they're clean and the next step i'm going to go ahead and try is i'm going to boil this connector uh, for a second time and this time i'm going to boil it um for about twice as long as last time so i'm going to boil it for maybe uh, 20 minutes this time and try it again 
Okay, so I've got this boiled. I actually boiled it for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes actually this time. And I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it and do this test again and see if boiling it for the second time. Okay, will so do I've got the, the 72 pin connector in. I've got the NES uh, put mostly back together, left a couple of the screws out, but um, back, back together. And I'm going to go ahead and try out these uh, four games again. Start with, um, let's just start with Galaga. Okay, so that came up good. I still don't know if you can see, but um, the the numbers are not symbols. Let's see if it'll end up messing up. Uh, yep, it's messed up a little bit. Messed up. Messed up. Uh, it's good. It's good. Messed up. It's good. So, um, ice hockey and wheel of fortune, um, they're, they're working just fine, it seems like, but I'm still having problems with athletic world getting the gray screen first, then hit reset, it'll work. And then Galaga actually works, but it's got the, you know, some of the numbers get turned into symbols. So, um, I boiled it twice, I've cleaned it a couple times, I've cleaned the games. So the only thing left to do is to go ahead and try bending the 72 pin connectors. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that and see if that makes a big difference. Okay, so I've got the 72 pin connector here. As you can see, this is the bottom row that connects to the PCB on the Nintendo. And then the top row connects to the cartridge. There's a top and a bottom set of pins. And I'm going to go ahead and try to use this uh, dental pick or something like it. Maybe grab something else if this one doesn't work out too good. I'm going to try to go, go ahead and do this and um, see how it goes. So you can get to the top pins from some other videos I've seen. There's a, a way to get to the this top row of pins, but um, it seems pretty hard, and I'm I'm honestly not sure how much it's going to matter um, if we do the bottom ones very well. So I'm probably going to just go ahead and try to do the bottoms and, and see if that doesn't uh, do the trick because these top ones seem like a little bit too too tricky to get to for for today so here goes on the bottom So there's some little pieces of plastic at the top that uh, my pick is getting into and breaking off. It actually looks like those pl pieces of plastic aren't aren't necessary. You can see on the bottom, what they do is they keep these um, these sides. Oops. On the bottom, you can see that they keep these sides um, each pin separated. But on the top, they don't actually stick out. The pins don't actually stick out that far. So it seems like these are. These are actually not needed up on top, so I'm not going to worry too much about, about breaking them.
Okay, so I've gone through these a couple times and I, I did break off a couple of these um, little pieces of plastic. I, I really don't think that's a, a problem up there. And I've got the pins. It's kind of hard to get it on camera. It's, uh, but uh, for the most part, the pins are pretty consistent heights. I've got a couple that are you know, a little bit higher than others, but they're definitely a lot higher than they were when we started. When I started, they were pretty much flattened out. I've got them so they're almost, um, some of them probably are, but um, almost touching the top. They almost go all the way to the top and touch the top connector. And I'm, I'm guessing if it'll, the metal will, will keep that shape that, that uh, this will be a much, much uh, tighter connection and maybe this will take care of the intermittent problems on a couple of those those games that were having some trouble so let me put it back together and test it out okay so I've got it back together and I've got it pretty much ready to go I went ahead and put the uh, the first game in and and the first thing I noticed was it was it was pretty actually hard to get it to go in there, so um, let's do Galaga. Yeah, it is. It's actually kind of a little bit too much. There we are. Okay, and the uh, numbers came up uh, right this time. Let's keep trying it, and hopefully it won't loosen up too much. It needs to loosen up a little bit, but hopefully it'll stay pretty tight. The numbers are good good um, oops what happened there I'm not sure what happened on that one good good wow all right good wow Okay, let's try Athletic World. This one has very consistently had a brown screen uh, at first and then had to hit reset. So well, let's try it. Oh, well, maybe there's something wrong with that game. It, it hasn't really deviated from this same. Yeah, there's something wrong with the game, I guess. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like a cartridge problem because it, it doesn't. I haven't changed anything about the cartridge and it's still hmm, interesting. Alright, ice hockey. I think this one was working pretty good anyway, but Is really tight. <laughs> Crazy. Seems to do the trick though. Wow. All right, and Wheel of Fortune. I think I think this one was working pretty good too after the last boiling. Looks like I might not have needed to bend them up quite as far, although we'll see how long it takes before they they loosen up anyway. I'm, it feels like a little bit too much actually, to be honest with you. So maybe not bending them quite as far, although it does work. The the games all work, so something to be said about that. Couldn't try this pile over here. These these are all you know working somewhat and somewhat not. Um, and well some of them probably are not as clean as others let's see if it makes a big difference Mario 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 as far as we can go this is the first I remember what I ran into was like so I can't say this is way tighter than it's supposed to be 
Okay, so somewhere. There we go. That's uh, my mask. Good. Good. Sorry, I'm going to go. Here's the other Well, there you have it, folks. I uh, had an NES spoil the connector. I got a little bit overconfident about it. Looked like it was working, but after putting a bunch of different games in, realized, hey, you know, this is pretty. Uh, much not working that good. It was where I could touch the system and it would reset and get all, all messed up and stuff like that. So, boiled it again. Um, seemed like it helped out a little bit. It did, did improve a little bit. Cleaning the games seemed like it helped out a little bit. But bending the pins back up uh, seems like it really has done the trick. All these games, except for one that seems like it has a problem, uh, are working fairly well. Um, we did find a couple games in there that were dirty that still, you know, the games have to be clean, the system has to be clean, the connector has to be tight enough, all of it has to work together. But as you can see, it's a multi-step uh, process. Um, I still think that boiling is the first step. It's the least invasive. It's not going to hurt anything. In some systems, it seems like it definitely, you know, that's all it needs. In other systems like this one where it was, seems like it was more worn out, we actually had to go in there and manually adjust those pins. Next time I would try not um, not kind of bending them up quite as far to see if I could get you know, a little bit easier insertion, uh, but yet still working you know just fine. So, uh, in conclusion, I'd say that that's a success. And if you have a an NES system, most of these uh, NES systems are so old. I'm finding every one I get has some problem where it won't read a game. Um, boil the connector, contact cleaner, contact cleaner on your games. Um, see if that works and then go on to um, you know try bending the pins up carefully so well, I hope that was helpful to you guys if you like this video and uh, the kind of videos I've been making I'd appreciate it if you'd hit like and subscribe and all that fun stuff and I'll see you next time